Hello, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha and in today's video I am going to be talking about the truth about the first trimester. Now, this is my personal experience. Obviously, every pregnancy is different um, and every person is different. I feel like I have had a pretty crappy first trimester. Um, I am filming this video a little bit late. I am 19 weeks now, um, but I'm going to start from the beginning about my symptoms in the first trimester. So, to start, um, at a, I was feeling great, honestly. Feeling totally fine, happy, pregnant, whatever. And then at about six and a half weeks, um, I started to kind of get the morning sickness, which for any of you who don't know, morning sickness is not just in the morning. I feel like a lot of people know that, but I have learned that not everybody knows this. Um, but yes, it is very deceiving. It is not just in the morning. It is literally all day, um, at least for me it was. <laughs> so. That started happening, I wasn't feeling my best. Um, I did work a very strenuous job. I worked at an animal hospital. I was on my feet for 12 hours a day. Smells um, were very hard on me and I cleaned cat and dog poop and pee and all this all the time. I was like constantly gagging but I wasn't really throwing up yet. Um, but. Yeah, smells were the worst. I feel like I live in an apartment building and I felt like my apartment and my apartment hallway just always had a weird smell. I literally had to wear a mask like around my home, like it was stupid. Um, but then my morning sickness started getting super bad where I wasn't really able to work. I wasn't able to get out of bed. Um, I wasn't able to eat anything really. All I was really living off of was vegetables and sometimes fruits. That's all I could really eat. Um, the thought of like carbs like pastas and breads. All right, my camera just randomly stopped recording, but as I was saying, all I could really eat was like vegetables, um, carbs, pastas, things like that literally sounded so gross to me like just the thought of it would make me like gag um and oranges were one thing that like i was completely living off of like the little cuties i would eat like three a day and that was it but it was the only thing i was able to hold down for a while um i tried ginger ale i tried like saltine crackers I tried, I even went on Amazon, I bought these like little wristband things that you're supposed to wear for like nausea and morning sickness and stuff like that. Um, that didn't help. I bought a pregnancy tea um, that was supposed to help with morning sickness, that didn't do anything. Um, I bought little pregnancy candies, that didn't do anything. So it got so bad to the point where I basically just... I was laying in bed all day, not getting up, not eating. I had a bunch of oranges next to my bed and I would eat an orange and then just try to sleep all day because obviously when you're sleeping you like don't feel so crappy. So I was just trying to do that because I couldn't handle it. Um, and obviously this made my job very bad because I wasn't working and you know, I, I hadn't told my parents yet and my mom was like, you know, why are you so sick? Like, what's going on? Um, and it got to a point, I, my fiance, he works um, all day long. He works like 1 to 10 p.m. So I was alone all day and I couldn't get up to even look in the refrigerator. The thought of the refrigerator was disgusting to me because there's food in there. Um, I couldn't stand the smell. I have cats and I couldn't change their litter box um, And if they had pooped or anything and I smelt it like I can smell everything like your sm like your sense of smell is like so heightened So I was smelling everything and everything just like made me gag like smells were so disgusting um, And I was so weak because I wasn't eating enough. I wasn't drinking enough at all 
I would have maybe like one sip of water. Um, so when I stood up or anything, I was very dizzy. I had to lay down. And so it got to a point where I was so lonely at home um, and I just, I wasn't happy. I was like so upset being by myself. I couldn't feed myself literally, um, which sounds so pathetic, but it really just was so, so much on my body and I just, I literally couldn't get up. So I had a random craving for pierogies, which is a pasta type thing, um, which was super weird, but all I wanted was pierogies. And when I had a craving, which was very rare, I needed to eat that craving because I didn't eat anything. So if I craved something and my body wanted it, like I figured out a way to go and get it. So I didn't want to drive but I wanted to go to my parents' house so that I could at least be near people, be distracted. When I don't feel good, if I'm by myself, it makes me feel worse, but if I'm like surrounded by people and like, they're not gonna just sit in silence. Like we talk, they watch TV, like whatever, like it distracts me and I feel better. So I wanted to be around people. I was tired of being by myself, but I definitely could not drive. <laughs> um, at all. I barely even knew if I could get out of my apartment. I had to walk downstairs or take an elevator. Um, and so I called my parents and I asked them if they could come pick me up. I didn't feel good enough to drive. They still had no idea I was pregnant and they were busy, but my sister's boyfriend actually came and got me. Um, and right away I was like, I'm pregnant. I feel like crap sorry you had to come and get me um but that's why i'm going over there and on the way there we stopped at the store he went in and got me pierogies um and my sister said that she would make me the pierogies when i got to the house because she knew i didn't feel good so i get to the house i told my sister i was pregnant my parents weren't there they had just left and my mom called me and she's like what is going on why don't you feel good why like why why don't you go to the doctor like if you can't even move blah 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 and i was like i'm pregnant like i can't this just i'm pregnant i've been to the doctor like i'm just pregnant mm -hmm. and so i told them i actually winded up staying at their house for a few nights when my fiance got off of work he would go home grab clothes and then go and sleep there with me um just because i was so tired of being alone all day and they cooked for me and occupied me and even when I was home alone if they were like all at work it was still like comforting um <laughs> my cat's like on my lap um but yeah so I stayed there for a few days that helped a lot literally all I ate was pierogies the whole time um I even did like the door dash like del like grocery delivery and I bought like a bunch of boxes of pierogies um but yeah that was the one thing that I could eat um that's all I lived off of there. Um, and then I eventually went back home. I was feeling a little bit better. Um, at this point, I'm probably about nine weeks and I'm thinking, okay, you know, we're getting close. Like I should be feeling better soon. And at this point, I kind of had on and off weeks. One week I would feel horrible, the next week I would feel completely fine. And I was like, oh yeah, like my morning sickness is done. And then after a week I came back. Um, it was super annoying. So if I ever felt okay a day, I took advantage of it and I didn't think that, oh, my morning sickness is over. I just thought, okay, today I'm okay. And <laughs> like, that's kind of where it was. Um, and then, I started working again, I was feeling better, um, and I was still taking it easy, not working like as much at work, um, but I started having some weird symptoms of whenever I would stand or walk for short periods of time, or like, like, cause I didn't like stand and walk a lot at work, well, I stood a lot, but I wasn't like walking distances long. So I was only walking short distances, but I noticed that my heart would just start pounding and I felt out of breath. I felt like I couldn't breathe. 
um, I felt like I was going to pass out and it kept happening and I started looking at my Apple Watch and it was telling me that my heart rate was getting into like 150 and all I was doing was standing up. It was super weird. Um, so I thought it was my watch, so I had other people at work put my watch on and do the same thing that I was doing, and theirs was like significantly lower. So I ended up calling my doctor, and she said, go to the hospital, you know, just make sure, blah, blah, that's not normal. So at the hospital, they did multiple tests, and they said it looks like I most likely have an overactive thyroid, um, which I've always had, apparently, which I just never knew. But because my body was making so much more blood because I'm pregnant, um, it was causing the symptoms to just appear, um, basically. So even though I had never had to deal with any symptoms of it, being pregnant makes a huge difference on your body. So my body was definitely feeling it. Um, and my doctor straight up told me to not be on my feet for long periods of time. So I did wind up quitting my job because there's no way to really get around being a kennel technician at an animal hospital, not standing on your feet for 12 hours a day. So um, I had to quit my job and I switched to an office job um, at my parents' company. And so I, I had to deal with those symptoms, like not being able to stand up. I couldn't take the stairs. I had to take the elevator. Um, things like that. It was very annoying um, and like just walking from my car, taking the elevator still, but just walking down the hallway to get to my apartment, I would be out of breath and the second I got inside like I would have to lay down. Um, but that lasted for a while. Um, I would say the symptoms kind of stopped only recently for that, and I'm 19 weeks now, so that lasted quite a while. Um, another thing that started happening around the same time as that is brushing my teeth became something that would make me throw up every morning. Um, and I am someone who like the second I wake up in the morning like I can't just sit in bed and sit on my phone for like an hour and then Eat breakfast and then brush my teeth like that grosses me out Personally, like I don't think it's weird if other people do it, but like me. I just cannot do it. I think it's weird um, So the second I wake up like I have to brush my teeth and so I would wake up in the morning I would brush my teeth and then the second I stopped brushing my teeth I would feel sick and I had to lay down and then I threw up and then I felt fine. So it was very, very annoying, um, but that happened every day, brushing my teeth for about like two weeks when I was like 13 to 14 weeks or like 12 to 14 weeks, like around there, every single time I brushed my teeth, it would just happen. Um, but that also has stopped. So yeah my first trimester was definitely not the best um it is very hard being pregnant i guess especially in the first trimester you know your your body is doing so much like you're that it's not used to um and your your body's gearing up to how like to home a child like that's a lot that your body is doing and you can't really tell because you know it's the first trimester it's not like you're showing you can't feel the baby like none of this your body is just doing all these changes and you can't even actually see any of it so pregnancy is definitely very weird you definitely feel a lot but I can promise you it gets better um, not a hundred percent you will always have something I'm, I'm not gonna lie at least for me like so far I've always had something I've had to deal with but it is significantly easier than the first trimester you know so it does get better it will not last forever if you are at 13 weeks and you're like yay my morning sickness should stop and it hasn't yet don't be discouraged mine didn't stop honestly until I would say like 15 weeks, um, 15 or 16 weeks. So don't be upset if you still have morning sickness, it will get better. And just think that you're doing it so that you can 
have a baby. Think of the end result. It helps a lot if you have an ultrasound, like put your ultrasound picture um, as like your lock screen. So whenever you don't feel good, you can like look at it and be like, okay, like I'm doing this for you. Like it, it helps a lot, honestly. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I am planning on filming more videos. I want to get back into it, document my pregnancy. If you have any questions um, or like video requests, leave it in the comments below. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.